Hello, everybody. This is Gary. Today is Wednesday, July 10th, 2019. It's 11, 12 a.m. in Rochester, New York. Um, today, I wanted to talk about the issue of vaccines. Um, I already did a video saying that vaccines don't cause autism or cancer, and they don't. There's no peer-reviewed studies to support that at all. Um, and peer-reviewed studies are the gold standard of science to determine if something is false or true. Um, the question that I came across though is, do vaccines like for the measles and the mumps and polio and the flu, do they contain tissue from aborted fetuses? And the answer to that is both yes and no. The original vaccines created for measles and mumps and other diseases was cultured in two voluntary abortion fetuses tissue. The cells were taken and used to make the um, vaccines from two aborted fetuses. But those cells after that were grown from the original source of those two fetuses. And so the cells that they use to make vaccines today are not from any more aborted fetuses. In other words, they grew the cells in the lab and made a supply of the cells that they used to make the vaccines. And there were no more aborted fetuses being used to make vaccines. It's sort of like a line of uh, a lineage. The original aborted fetuses had um, tissue that was used in producing the vaccines, but that supply of tissue was simply grown in the lab over and over again to have a supply of fetal tissue that isn't coming from any new abortions. It was only two or three original abortions in the tissue that came from that that they were using to make vaccines. So vaccines do not cause any recent, I'm sorry, today's vaccines are not made out of newly aborted fetuses because it isn't necessary. They have a supply of fetal tissue that they simply grow in the lab and made a large supply. So there's not they're not using aborted fetuses to make vaccines. They're using the sending the descendant cells from two or three original abortions. And once the vaccine is made, it usually doesn't have any of the original aborted fetus tissue in it. And if it is in there, it's harmless and it doesn't cause autism and it doesn't cause cancer. I will put a link to the a description of the study that I read to give you this information. I'll put it in the uh, description of this video. Um, but technically speaking, vaccines are not using abortion, aborted fetuses to make those vaccines.